Daisy. Daisy. She are planted into the ground. What's good, Unique Nation? It's your girl, Nine Unique, coming at y'all once again with another video. Hope you're all doing well today. Oh, man. I've had a pretty interesting morning. I want to address some stuff with y'all. You know, as, as y'all can see, you know, something's different. Something's a little different about me, you know? Look, this video is going to have two separate topics. My hair and me being clear slash my sobriety. I think I'm I think I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying that right. If you wonder what this Q-tip is for, if you see me on the side, it's for my eyes because it, it keeps fucking water. So yeah, that's that's what that's for. Don't be looking at the whole video. Look at me. Okay. Alright. Okay, alright. Gotta do it again. I hope you all been doing well. Hope you all been taking care of yourselves uh, through all these tough times and tough moments within the world and the change that we are all experiencing with them. I really hope you guys are, are, are being kind to yourself and drink the water. You know, get some sun, get some nature or something at least. Yeah, like I said, this video will have two separate topics, my sobriety and my hair. My hair will be a brief topic, but my sobriety will be probably mostly of the video. I don't want this video to be long. I really hope it isn't long, so I will try to be as fluent and efficient as I can throughout this video. So, yeah, first off, my hair. Uh, my friend T, my homie, he helped me uh, dye my hair. So we both dyed our hair. Uh, he dyed his a day, a day before mine's, and I dyed mine's a day after his. So, we both were like, you know what, fuck it, you know? And hopefully you guys will see him on this channel. And also with the, the rest of my homies, you know what I'm saying? I really hope y'all hope y'all get to meet them on here. I really hope they'll be comfortable with it. If they're not, it's totally okay. Anyways, yeah, so my hair. I've had, uh, I dyed my hair uh, last year. Last year, yeah. Like when I first started my locks, I dyed my hair red, like the tips. And that's another thing. Before I even get to the video, you will hear a dumb at, you will hear a, a dumb dog probably the like the majority of this video hopefully i'll cut it out whenever this this dude get loud i'm so close to going over there and strangling him but i'm so close but you know in a piece in a piece bro i dyed my hair last year the tips were red pretty sure y'all saw that like when i first came up on here and i was talking about uh i forgot the, what the video was called but y'all remember like my first life video on here i think it was about me like it was like one of them spiritual like awakening type videos or something like that. Second time, I bleached my hair in August. When I bleached my hair in August, my hair was like a, a amber, like, like a light amber brown or some shit. It was really bright. It was really bright, really bright. And after that, I haven't dyed my hair since. You know, over like the past year, well, almost a year, my hair has just been brown. And I'm pretty sure y'all seen it in the last couple of videos, like, like the recent the recent four, I think, recent four, or recent three, or recent four. Yeah, so my hair was brown and i've been meaning to like keep it that way for a couple of years because like i wanted to have like some length before i would dye it but i was like you know what fuck it bro this is like a new it's a new beginning it's like a rebirth right here it's like a a whole new evolution for me because i think of uh like changing your appearance or your personality or the way you think is all part of evolution it's all part of you changing something within your life even like just changing hobbies or habits or anything you know what i'm saying i just wanted a fresh start uh i think i may bleach the ends i may bleach the ends so if i do do that or decide to um do any other type of dye within my hair i will record it i did not record the process this time but i will record it next time and it'll go great and i think you guys will meet t during that video if i was to do that um anyways to the more interesting part right the more deeper part now before i even get into this topic about my sobriety or me being clear i want to make sure that i say this before i even do this i'm not trying to trigger anyone i'm not trying to i'm not trying to trigger any past thoughts or any negative thoughts within the people that are watching this video if you get triggered easily or if some things trigger you please feel free to exit off this video this is none of my intention it's none of my intention to do so i'm just spreading my message and I hope a lot of people hear me and they take initiative of it and they take action of it and they think of this as a way of a way of hope you know my whole channel is about evolution and who i've become as a person 
that's what I want my channel to be 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 like for probably like a while. But yeah, that's what this like this era is like just about my evolution. And nothing really different, but yeah, it's about my evolution. Let's get into me being clear. As my OG subscribers know, y'all know that I was on here uh doing smoking vids. I know I was doing smoking vids, I know I was doing wake and bake sessions and all that crazy stuff. I was doing that, right? Over the past maybe four four years, I have been battling interesting addictions. Now, not with just Mary Jane, but with other substances, you know, other substances. And a lot of people don't really know that about me. A lot of people really like, didn't know anything because I had, I did a very good job at hiding it. You know, um, I was even coming to school that way. I was around my family that way. I was around my, my friends, uh, children, but I wasn't doing anything like bad to them. I was just, I wasn't there. But while I wasn't clear, so like when I'm saying clear, I mean like when I wasn't sober, but I think of it as clear, like me being able to see clearly, me being able to think clearly, me be like me being able to be in control, control of my actions, my thoughts, my body, my physical body, my mental. Because I believe uh, drugs have had a uh, impact on me the past like four years. I'm not gonna like really list. I'm not gonna really list everything that I was doing. But I was doing a lot of crazy stuff because I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I don't want this video getting taken down. I want this video to be a sign of hope for others out there. Um, a sign that they can they can get right back up that if i can then you can too no juice world you know that song y'all know that song y'all don't okay it's okay be yeah. it i have been clear from everything for almost three months now and when i tell you it has probably been the best decision i've ever made for like for anything i'm telling you it's, it's been the best it's not easy it's not easy at all but i can tell y'all this i took something maybe around february around march or something like that and it literally changed my whole aspect of the world and how i was going like with my path i want to make everything about spirituality this is just me talking like i talk like this regularly like you can ask anyone like anyone i talk like this regularly now well the people that's kind of close to me you know what i'm saying they they know yeah uh yeah, I have been sober for almost three months. I think I'll be uh, three months on the 9th or the 8th, one of those two. And I'm also not sober, but like I'm also clear with other things. But basically, I've just been clear for three months. It's been cool. It's been a battle, I tell you. It's been a, it's been a freaking battle. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, but uh, I have, kind of been like upset with myself because like the thoughts that come across my mind but as you think about it like if you think about it it's just it's just thoughts your thoughts really don't mean anything but your actions you can think on something but not act on it you know so that's how i really like flow with life now like thoughts are thoughts it's all about how you act on them i haven't really been acting on my thoughts i have had many of overthinking thoughts many of thoughts where i'm like why am i trying to be good all of a sudden why am i trying to be clear all of a sudden like i miss that empty feeling i miss that rotten feeling and this is another thing i want to talk about rotten right the word rotten in my yeah my perspective so think of an apple a red apple right a red apple and it's beautiful on the outside that is red it's shiny it's pure but when you take a bite into it you don't know if it's rot or not i mean you can feel if it's squishy and stuff but that's not the point basically what i'm saying is like when you open up on the inside it is rotten that's how i felt when i was doing all the crazy shit i was doing when i wasn't clear i felt like a rotten apple i was rotten to the core i was not able to feel things i was numb i loved that feeling i was loving that shit I still experience that numbness now to this day. That's just something that kind of like just follows me throughout this journey. I'm pretty sure it should like pass in a couple of years, a couple of months. But you know, it's, it's temporary, like it comes and goes. 
I was not able to feel the emotions I wanted to feel. I felt this constant depression, this constant sadness. Even though I was being, even though I was numbing, that feeling like with the stuff that I was using and all of that, I was distracting myself from the world. I just, I couldn't do it no more, man. I, like I, I couldn't, I missed being able to feel. You know, like my entire life has been very difficult, very interesting, and one day I'll be able to tell my story on here. I was thinking about doing a documentary about myself when I reached 20, and um, let me know if y'all if y'all want that in the comments down below. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking about doing that, like to talk about my life, to show memories and show how this journey has been. The things that I briefly went through, I won't exactly show everything. I don't know how it's gonna go. It was like a just, it was just like a, a quick, a quick thought. And I was like, all right, yeah, I might as well do that. It's back to the topic. Um, look, big ass ant. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I got tired of that rotted feeling. It was basically like a like a blockage for my emotions and for everything. Like I, I was still able to to like involve as a person. Like just that run and feeling kind of kept me going, if that makes sense. It kind of like gave me hope like that everything will probably turn out in the end. Oh, uh, while I was uh, using these substances and stuff, I was coming up on, I was coming on YouTube and I started just doing like vids. Like I was just doing those. Behind the camera, I was doing other shit. And I wasn't really good at doing tricks. I wasn't really good at that shit. Once I stopped uploading, uh, around last year during August or something like that. Like that's when I started like getting better with that. Like doing tricks and shit. But yeah, since April 8th or April 9th, I've been clear. And ever since I've been clear, I've been able to, I've been able to move better. I've been able to work better. You know, I've been, I've been able to focus better. My art has gotten, my art has gotten better. I haven't really been doing that much art, but I take a lot of time on just one project now. Yeah, I take I take a lot of time on just one project now. So, you know what I'm saying? I take time with myself. I'm very patient with myself. Uh, I know what I'm going through is a process, and I know in the end it will turn out like how, I, how I've been saying. But ever since then, the world just went quiet. Like, a lot of things been standing out more but I just, even though all this stuff is going on in the world, I'm just living freely. I feel more free. I feel more like myself. I've been more comfortable with myself. You know, I've been just doing my own thing, you know? A lot of people, I haven't really like explained nothing to. I haven't really talked to them about anything. What I'm saying, what I basically want to spread to y'all is that never, Never lose faith. Um, never lose faith, faith within yourselves. A lot of stuff will come within your path and it's up to you of how you want to deal with it. It can either go in a, in a good way or a bad way. And being clear is probably like the most beautiful thing ever after suffering for so long. Like I wouldn't say the suffering stopped, but I gotten stronger over time. I've gained that strength, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I gained that. I haven't really been open about this whole situation to anybody, so this is just me spreading my message and trying to help the people around me and basically guiding the youth, you know? I really appreciate y'all being here for this journey. I really appreciate every single one of y'all. Numbers are beginning not to mean anything to me. I could care less about how many subscribers I got. Or whatever as long as i'm spreading the message in like a good way that's all i really care about i really hope i've been making the people around me kind of proud you know i really hope so talking about this whole situation has kind of made me feel like a little a little emotional you know what i'm saying but i'm cool I'm cool uh this is not me begging for help just want to let y'all know that this is me spreading a message and i'm, I'm just reassuring y'all that like this is just a message this is not no 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 sad video or clickbait or like oh no, my life is this blah, blah. like i'm no no things will get better over time if you keep hope within it keep
keep that faith. Find the motivation within yourself. Remind yourself that. Remind yourself that you are strong. Okay. Okay. I was gonna let y'all know that, bro. You got this. And I'm proud of you. Really proud of you. Got this, man. I love you. I love you guys so much. Um, there really isn't much uh, much left for me to address on here. There really isn't that much. I'm pretty sure I covered both of those topics. Um, as it goes for uh, the smoking vids, I will not be doing those. Uh, if I choose to to spark up something, it will be as a way of celebrating life. I, I finally made my decision. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not just gonna break my break my streak because I want to do something. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to no. No. And I will continuously fight the urge to to prevent myself from going back into that hole and becoming rotten. I will prevent myself from that. I will stop myself from that. I will allow myself to stay free. I will spread my wings and fly. My wings were broken for a while, but they have repaired themselves. And I'm able to fly again. Yeah, really like all I wanna say on here. Um, as it goes for me uploading, I know I just came out of nowhere after saying like, hey, I'm gonna be gone for like a whole month, you know, my head has been hurting. Uh, I got all of that figured out the other day. So I think I'm fine to do video. I've gotten some medication and stuff. I've gotten some stuff, you know, to help me. Um, everything will be okay, I'm fine, I'm cool. I'm um, saying so I'm keeping faith, and I'm keeping faith within the future. You know what I'm saying? Everything will be cool. Everything will be fine. Uh, as it goes for collabs, please be patient with me. I feel like something is coming. It's right under your nose. It's, it's literally right in front of y'all. You know what I'm saying? It just hasn't happened yet. Time hasn't caught up yet. It's really different uh, spreading this or even talking about this on camera. Because, like, I've spoken to um, my friends about this stuff, and, you know, it's... They're really supportive, really, really fucking supportive, and I adore them for that. For everybody that's been along with me throughout this journey, all the people I've met in my life, all the people I've crossed paths with, I love you. Each one of y'all and each and every person has taught me something different. I've learned at least one thing from one person. My life probably wouldn't have turned out the right way or this way if I didn't meet you or cross paths with you. I just want to say thank you. Yeah, I'm going to wrap this video up. I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, make sure you all read the description box below. I've been putting messages down in the uh, description. A lot of people haven't been reading it, but yeah, it's like right below the video. Like you'll press like the little arrow and they say like show more. And then you already know how to look in the description. Links to my social medias will be down below. Um, also to whatever audio I'm using in this in this video no copyright you know just like whatever audio I'm using I'll link it down below uh, and that's about it I'm gonna come up with an outro one day I'm gonna come up with a better one I've come up with a very with a very interesting intro I want to keep it going I'm, I'm sorry I'm like tearing up this shit bro <laughs> all right I'm gonna wrap this video up wrap this video up man before I, before I do some things before I do some things you know what I'm saying I love you all keep that peace keep that faith within your soul everything will turn out the way it will just be patient you got this bro. you got this alright man sun got us out I'll see you on the next one man I love you all